All right, we are out at the surf today. Look at those waves. Out at the beach, we do some old school surf fishing today. Get back to my roots. And it's been a little while since I caught a fish out in the surf. I honestly don't even remember the last time I caught a fish out here. It's kind of sad. But today I brought a new but old secret weapon. If you watch the channel, you might know what I mean. You'll see it here pretty soon. Okay, biker gang. All right, power on. Oh shoot! Oh no! Okay, almost forgot. I, I thought I forgot to lock my car for a second. All right, let's get the gas. Yeah. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. I think the max speed on this thing is 20 miles an hour. So we'll see if we can get there at some point. You might know this guy. He has a YouTube channel as well. I haven't seen him out here in a while, but we'll see if we can catch some fish today. Under the sand. I'll lower it a little bit. Oh shoot! I forgot my. I gotta go back and get my camera real quick. I forgot my camera in the car. Our range is pretty unlimited right now because of these motors we have in here. And uh, before we get to the spot and start fishing, let me tell you a little bit more about the bike that I'm on. This is the KVO K1 e bike. It's the perfect mix of convenience, affordability, and versatility to make it the best choice for your first e-bike. First thing I noticed about this bike is the portability. The aluminum frame allows the bike to be lightweight while remaining solid when carrying heavy loads. At just 55 pounds, the bike is considerably lighter than some of the other bikes I've used, making it much easier to transport. The simple two-step folding design allows the bike to be easily stowed in the trunk or the back seat of my Corolla. While riding, the bike can reach a top speed of up to 20 miles per hour and travel up to 45 miles on a single charge. It includes both pedal assist and throttle mode features, which can be controlled via the control center on the handlebars. All right, let's see how fast we can get this thing up to. This is on sand, so it's not gonna go as fast as it would on pavement, but. We'll bump up the gear, get into a higher gear. Oh yeah, there we go. Now we're getting there. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, almost 20. Not quite 20 on the sand. We're on concrete now, and now it's right at 20 miles an hour. Finally, the KBO K1 is super affordable. Save more money for fishing gear and get the K1 for less than $700 extremely competitive in the e-bike market. So if you're interested in getting one of these KBO K1s for yourself, click the link in the description. Don't forget to use that promo code to get a nice little discount on your order. Thanks to KBO for watching this video. Now we're off. This is what it looks like riding 12 mile an hour without even pedaling. 13 miles an hour, 14 your motor power. This dude. How far you want to go? I don't know. Over there, there's a hole right there. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, right? Yeah. There's a good hole up here, so we're gonna motor on over. So, I don't know, it took us probably like two or three minutes. If we were to walk this, this probably would have taken us at least 30 minutes to get down here, but you know, with these bikes, fraction of the time so 
gonna get more time in the water. Hopefully that means more fish on the sand. There goes Coast Guard right over the top. So if you see this, there's a lot of white water. You see all the waves crashing out on the outside out here. But then right in here, there's like some darker water. I'll move my finger out of there so it focuses. Anyways, there's some darker water in closer. That's where the water's deeper. You call it the, the hole that we're gonna be fishing. So right in this little area, all along has a little trough. And then out here kind of funnels out into deeper water. But right here, this is where I'm gonna start. Right in that deep water right there. There's a lot of times where these fish like to hang out. Well, that's the idea, but we'll see. I haven't caught a fish in the beach in a while, so let's see if I still got it. All right, so here's the plan. So this hole goes all the way, I'd say it's probably about maybe almost 100 yards wide and it goes out maybe 50 yards, 25 yards, I don't know. But anyways, I'm gonna attack this with a little bit of an approach rather than just blindly casting and then trying different stuff. So I'm gonna start at the north end of the hole over here on this side and then work my way to the south. And that way I can cover the whole hole. Sometimes the fish are really pinned up on one side or the other. Sometimes they're just spread out through the whole thing, but this way at least we'll cover it all a little more methodically. We can be a little more efficient. I'm also going to switch up my approach a little bit. So I am using a fish finder rig. I'm probably going to stick with that for the whole day. But what you can change is the size of your weight. So usually you want to match the size of your weight to one, what your rod can handle, and then two, what the surf kind of dictates. So if there's a really rough surf, probably need a little bit more weight just to hold bottom. If it's a little bit calmer, you can get away with a little bit less. So I'm starting on the light end. This is a two ounce pyramid weight. I brought some heavier stuff that we'll switch out to. I actually like it when it's moving a little bit, but if it's moving super fast, then I'll have to put on some heavier weight. So anyways, two ounce pyramid weight. The reason I have this pyramid shaped weight is I feel like this shape holds ground the best out of all the ones that I've used. So this is the one that I like, but not super necessary. All right, sand crab going in. Another thing when you're casting these sand crabs, especially for surf perch and especially when you have a nice hole like we have right here, you don't really have to worry about casting it super far. A lot of times those perch are in close because they're feeding on those sand crabs, which are right in tight to shore. So yeah, not super necessary to cast it super far most of the time. All right, yeah, I think after your first couple casts here, I think this is just moving a little bit too much. So I'm gonna switch it out for a heavier weight. All right, we got a little more weight on here. So this should hold bottom. Okay, we tried this spot for about 15, 20 minutes and it looks really promising. I worked all the way from the right side all the way to the left and nothing for me, no perch. June was trying with the crab snare and no crabs for him. He went that way and I'm gonna go this way. So we'll see if we can find another hole. Hopefully the next one has some fish in it. I'm just wondering how heavy you Last time I was here, I was using 10. Really? 10 ounce, yeah. Oh, you Is there a fish on here? I think there's a fish on here. Oh my gosh, really small. But I caught one. There it is. First fish of the day. June! <laughs> Just a little perch. That is what we're looking for about. I'm looking for one. Probably triple, quadruple that size. So we'll let this one go. Nice little barred surf perch. All right. All right. Let's see if we can find a bigger one. All right, this is it, Adam. <laughs> okay, this is it. Seven inch crab. Seven inch crab. Oh, oh. <laughs> Fishing's just not cooperating. June caught one tiny little crab and I caught one pretty small perch as well. So 
Uh, not the best fishing, but we didn't get skunked. June has to go home, but I'm gonna soldier on and try another beach after we ride our bikes back to the car. Big dog. And we're here at spot number two, and I just realized one more benefit of having this e-bike. It's actually gonna save me some money. Let me show you what I mean by that. So I just parked right here. I'm gonna get on the bike and start moving. And in this parking lot, it's free to park. But once we get moving here, over here, whoops. And then right over here, we have this. Boom. So normally I probably would have just paid for parking. You know, walking would have taken at least 15 minutes both ways. It's just a hassle to have to park farther away. But with the e-bike, it literally took me like 30 seconds to get from the free area to the paid area without paying. So that saved me. I don't even know how much parking is here, but usually it's like 10 bucks, most beaches. So save 10 bucks. Now let's get out and see if we can catch some fish. There's a fish on here. Oh, it's decent. Well, I shouldn't say decent. It's pretty small. But it's a fish. Hey, that's a different species too. Cool looking fish. Well, might not have been recording that whole time. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. I just thought I had the release on film there, but I don't think I was recording the whole time. So anyways, what I was saying, is that was a calico surf perch and a little bit different than the barred or red tail that we typically see on these sandy beaches. I find that those surf perch are often hanging out at least somewhat close to, not necessarily right in the rocks, but close to some rock structure. So anyway, yeah, a little different than the typical species that I see, but not a monster, nothing to write home about by any means, but it is a fish. Man, my uh, surf fishing game has been subpar as of late. I caught two fish today, one barred, one calico perch, surf perch, uh, but both of them were, you know, about this big. And technically there's no size limit on calico or barred surf perch, but I don't like to keep them unless they're at least, let's say at, at least 12 inches. Those both were probably like nine inches or so, I don't know, but well below my personal minimum requirement. So, okay, I'm gonna do one thing before this video is over, and that is catch one more fish. I don't care if it's a surf perch, a striped bass, I don't care if it's three inches, I don't care if it's 40 inches. It could be a jack smell. I'm gonna catch one more fish before this video ends. And it's right now, it's 4.30. Technically, I was hoping to leave by 4.30, but uh, obviously that's not gonna happen, so. One more fish, I'm not leaving here until I catch one more fish. Catch fish, but found some sea glass. That's what I'm taking home with me. 